Hey guys, it's Nemo from Demostech, and I've been using the Ulanzi AM18 microphone for some time now, and it's been an amazing microphone, and you can see it here. And obviously you hear that right now. It is a good one, but actually that one I ordered as the cheaper solution for my microphones, and honestly as a secondary video just to show you guys. But actually the main microphone that I wanted is this, the Holy Land Lark Max. And this is what we are going to open right now and check uh, if uh, that's actually better. We are going to compare them and see what's better because this one costs like two of the Lanzi ones and even more. And this one came with this, which is two external microphones that you can connect to your microphone. And those basically are lapel mics. Uh, we will try probably those as well, but mm, again, I'm not sure that uh, this is fair because the Lanzi doesn't come with those, though you can connect those to the Lanzi without an issue. I really like the Lanzi, it really works, and let's see if uh, the Holy Land like Max is also a good thing or not. So this is the Holy Land uh, Lark Max and this is the Ulanzi. It is slimmer, but it is thicker. We'll show it like this, as you can see. In terms of uh, how tall it is, almost the uh, same size, but the Holy Land Max seems to be a little bit taller. Uh, let's open it up. The magnets are even maybe a little too strong, but that's quite awesome. Let's grab one of the mics first. Oh wow! Oh, there are a lot of... oh my gosh, there are a lot of things here still to... this? Really? Oh, they will not... they will not even charge because they have here this! Oh wow! Okay, that's awesome. I seem also to have one here. I think this is a magnet. It is a strong magnet, that's for sure. And yeah, we do have here one. Yeah, okay. Oh wow! That Okay, I, I've got to say, the presentation and the look of it, that's definitely better than... <laughs> wow, I love it. Okay, let me try to actually compare it. Now, uh, keep in mind that I might get some noise from the other microphone here, so we'll try to be gentle with this. Or maybe we'll just turn it off. Okay, I guess it is turned off now. And, oh, the magnets already doing their job. Amazing. Okay, the magnets will definitely ruin this. They are very strong and I mean ruined by... Uh, it will m do some marks here, I'm pretty sure. Well, uh, wow, uh, I mean this thing weights maybe a little bit more. Now it comes with a magnet here and oh wow, that's... no, that's like... that's like... this is like some sort of okay quality and this is like... I don't know, compare it like maybe an old phone or something, and I'm not talking Nokia phone, and compared to this, which is like, 
the S23 Ultra or S24 Ultra, whatever you want. It's like, wow. I mean, seriously, uh, I don't know how to compare them. Yeah, that literally feels much better. So as you can see on those, we also have internal recording storage and we have a light here. We have here the on off. We have uh, an external mic which we can connect. We have a button which I think is for low cut or something like this for sort of noise cancellation, things like that. On the bottom we have the uh, pins, the pogo pins or however that called for the charging. And on that side we have the recording and a light which will probably indicate uh, if it's recording or not. And as you can see we have this and also the magnetic. Yeah, they look much better. Now, I do want to look in the cables. So we have our 3.5 to 3.5, we have two dead cats, that's normal, that's something that the onesie also had. We have here some sort of cable, let's see which one it is. There is one cable that I'm going to throw to the garbage probably in a moment, you'll see. Oh, we have USB-C to USB-C, but uh, that one is on angle, that's cool. You can charge with it and probably connect to the computer. And let's see what's the next cable we have here. We have here USB-A to USB-C for charging. Honestly, I don't need that. Everything for me is USB-C now, so I don't care. And we have this one, which no reason to open. I mean, you guess what it is, right? This is the old iPhone cable. Don't need that. Let's actually dig in more. And wow, that, that's the receiver and it looks kind of cool. We have here, oh, this knob. It's tactile. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. I love it. Honestly, I really love it. We have some button here and it is, I think, a touchscreen as well. Here we have just a logo. On this side we have a headphone jack, so if you want to hear what we do. And a USB-C, both to charge and I guess to uh, connect to the computer. On the other side we have a connection to our camera. I'm not sure that I like it, but it is on this side, but it's totally normal. And this is a power on or lock uh, button. We have here again a sticker and we have here for some reason something that was like locked before and now it's unlocked. Okay, that's a weird one, but uh, it really holds really well. Let's open this and my guess uh, if we'll actually want to turn them on we just put this here and put this one here and yeah you can see they already boot up that's cool honestly that's cool let's try to actually uh, look what we have here let me try to maybe zoom a little bit more and uh, let's grab one of the mics. I'm not recording or anything, we'll do that test later. Yeah, you can see output on one of them and we can probably, I guess, dial in something. Oh, that's just choosing them. I can press, yep. I can press and uh, dial it in more. That's quite cool. And that will go back, I guess. Uh, we have uh, now, I guess, on the safety channel because I see here some S. Uh, it shows the power of this and also the microphone. I guess it will uh, take out the second one, it will show the second one as well. Uh, let's try to, not fully sure how to actually use that. Oh, we have here this thing, so mic on or off, I'm not fully sure what it does. Oh, it changes here from uh, green to uh, blue. Let's see what this one, oh, turn off or turn on, I guess. So now it's on. Uh, that seems the recording, I guess it will look uh, here and if I'll enable the recording, yeah, uh, you can enable the recording remotely, that's quite cool. How do we, oh, so it seems this touch panel isn't that quite nice. And we can control the second microphone, but, uh, okay, so I guess this one is our low cut or however they want to call it, let's let me try to press on the button. Yep, it is uh, green or blue and it is turn it off and on, that's quite cool and I guess if I press on this one once, it will, no, it will not uh, disable the microphone or something. So yeah, that seems like uh, that is what it is. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if we have more settings here, but honestly, I'm pretty sure we do. The problem is that I do not know how to use them. That's quite troublesome. I might have some more control. And again, I'm pretty sure there's like safety channel or not safety channel, but uh, we might uh, figure it automatically somehow because uh, only one microphone is out now. Uh, it is working, that's for sure. And let's do uh, a first test. So I'm going to uh, try and let me try to do it like this. You probably hear me less now. Okay, you can hear me uh, for sure, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me do it like this maybe. 
and currently what is connected is the onesie. I'm going to actually connect this one and uh, let's see if uh, you hear me actually better or worse. One, two, three. Now uh, we might need to adjust some settings but technically this microphone should hear me and you should hear me much better now. And I can see that it records only on uh, one of the streams, so you are getting sort of a mono. And uh, that can change in the configuration, that's for sure. I just need to check how. But uh, anyways, uh, that's the initial impression. That's the Holy Land uh, Lark Marks. And, well, I actually really love it so far. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one!